This is Next Gen TV. I'm talking to Glyn Patton, who is the broadband manager for Hampshire County Council. Glyn, exciting times in Hampshire. Yes, it certainly is. That a long project is, is coming to an end. Uh, we're using the PSN, Hampshire PSN, HPSN 2 as we call it, to connect up a rural village. The infrastructure is already there. We have fibre to every school. So one of our rural villages was never planned to get NGNA or broadband through the market. We have decided to use that fibre that's already there in the school to enable that village. It will be bringing them super fast broadband speeds of up to 40 megabits per second and with BT's latest announcement that will go up to 80 megabits per second. As they're currently getting half a megabit at best, that's quite an improvement. Well, that's, that's quite incredible. Uh, and how have you done it? Have you been working with partners? How, how have you achieved this? Yes, but, uh, that's the other thing that's unique and exciting about the project is, is multiple partners, both commercial and, if you like, public partners. We've got three commercial partners and we've got Magdalen, uh, NetAdmin and Fluid Data directly working on the project. More indirectly, but vitally crucial, have been Virgin Media, who own the HPSN, the Hampshire HPSN, so they've helped us deliver that as well. But I must emphasise the importance of the community itself as part of the partnership. They started this project off a few years ago uh, and, and they've driven it forward. They're the people who want the broadband, so they've been important keeping on board. And the school, because the PSN, the Hampshire PSN, goes into the school, so that's the hub of the rural broadband. So keeping the school on board has been very important as well, because we don't want them switching off the equipment and turning off the whole village. I mean, it's fantastic for a community like that. I mean, you say a village that is struggling to have any access suddenly probably has access the envy of the whole south coast. You'd like to think so. Yes, it is. No, it, it really is. It, it hasn't been without its tribulations. Um, technically, getting... Um, commercial internet providers onto a PSN, there's been some technical issues there because we've got a very secure network, a very secure line and you're allowing public internet access onto that. So that has given Virgin Media in Hampshire quite a few headaches. We've now got two solutions, you know, two flexible solutions that we could use for that. So, but it's been, you know, it's, it's been a hard road but it's been well worth it. Fantastic. And, and what about the future? I mean, you know, what applications do you see, you know, coming a few years down the line, for example? Well, there's, there's two answers to that question. One, it, immediately, the people in Little London, they won't just be able to get iPlayer faster, but they'll be able to um, access Hampshire services. So if you're disabled and you, you, you want somebody to come out and have a look at you and give you a reassessment for your disability, you'll be able to do that online. Hampshire has an array of online services. You know, there's even self-help on there. You'll be able to access videos to see how you can, you know, use your wheelchair, for instance, if you've ordered a wheelchair. So there's an array of social services that are online already in Hampshire. These people weren't able to access access those and they will be but more importantly as well Hampshire's obviously going to be part of the BD UK rollout for the for the rural, rural areas of Hampshire and this model is one we're going to use in that BD UK the partnership with commercial providers and of course those public people the community uh, and the people who have the PSN terminating in the schools or other offices. So uh, Little London's probably going to have better comms than Big London by the sounds of it. <laughs> I think you could be right there, yes, yes, I hadn't thought of it that way. But yes, I mean, yeah, it's looking good, it's looking rosy. Great, well look, thanks for talking to us at Next Gen TV. Okay, thank you very much.